So, this is the conclusion to the Olivia channel, <laughs> to the Olivia's video. Um, here's her story. So, my mom has been expressing the fact that she wanted a dog, correct? Yeah, so she wanted a puppy and, uh, you know, we thought, you haven't had a dog forever, it's time you got one. Uh, you know, she, after Bruiser and Bonnie died, uh, back when I was a kid, she vowed never to have any other dogs and uh, until she could afford them and or until it was time emotionally because she really loved those dogs so uh, you know I was like you know what well, let's go look at dogs and see if anything clicks and she took one look at uh, at Olivia and well, her name at the time was Oso, but I changed it to Olivia because she wasn't really responding to Oso, so yeah, that's that story. And um, she took one look at that dog and said, I want that dog, you know? I mean, she said, that's a good puppy, I want to adopt her. And I was like, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, that's the one. And she was in a state of delirium, let me tell you. I mean, I had to drive her home. <laughs> There was no driving her home, so, I mean, like, she couldn't do it, so I did it. Um, you know, so it was kind of cute, in a way. Uh, she didn't even remember going to the place to see the dog, but we had already adopted her, so it was set in stone at that point. At least that's how I felt, and plus I fell in love with her one look. I knew she'd fit into the family, and uh, apparently there was a Latino lady who had dropped her off. I'm guessing she was Latino because she named her Oso, which means bear in Spanish. So, uh, yeah. So this lady drops her off at the place, probably drove her there. And, um, you know, she had just arrived there not too long ago. They hadn't even fixed her yet to be adopted. So right after they fixed her, they said, oh, she's ready to go home. And I was like, yay, she's ready to go home. So we went to pick her up. She has pain medication that I give her daily. Um... We were supposed to keep her quiet for three days. We did our best to do so. Uh, although, <laughs> she's just so rambunctious, that one. You can't, I can't make her stay still. She's like bounding all over the place, all up in everybody's face. She just wants attention and love and she wants to be active. I've tried not being active with her, but then she kind of just mopes around. She refuses to eat or drink. She gets super depressed, so. I was like, you know what? If moving makes you happier, even though I think it's a bad idea, yeah, we're still gonna make you move just a little bit. Like, I wasn't gonna let her bound about, but it's been a few days. Um, it's been actually a while. Her medicine's almost run out, so I can imagine that running right now is okay. But beforehand, it was impossible to keep her still. I tried. <laughs> she did She she wouldn't, so... Uh, yeah. Um, hopefully she's all good. She's going to be checked out by a vet this Saturday. Uh, I'm not used to taking care of a dog who had just gotten out of surgery, so <laughs> let's see if I did a good job. I mean, her sutures look really good and clean right now. Uh, they looked a little bit red and irritated today, so no more running for her, even if she wants to, which is unfortunate, but... You know, she has to take it easy at some point. She can't just keep going and going and going. She is a puppy, though, so she doesn't know what's best for her. It's up to me to tell her what's best for her. It's kind of sad because it makes me sound like an asshole whenever we're working together or doing anything constructive. <laughs> Even my sister's like, well, why can't she be mouthy? It's not like it hurts anybody. Well, if you let them be mouthy with you, basically play biting, eventually it could turn into something else. Uh, I don't want her getting the idea that that's okay, so... We're going to have to train with that in mind. And I also want to train her to where she won't jump up at people whenever they're entering the home. What happens if that's my mom? She goes out for, you know, like doctor appointments and whatnot. What happens if she comes home and the dog jumps on her and knocks her over? My mom is basically handicapped. That's not a good idea. So I'm going to have to teach Olivia her boundaries so that she won't continuously... Uh, jump up at whomever comes at you know comes in at home. I don't want her tripping anybody. 
I don't want any accidents. I don't want her even in the kitchen because the kitchen's so small. Any kind of accident could happen where somebody's cooking. They could trip over the dog. So uh, I'm trying to teach her boundaries, um, trying to teach her all sorts of things and tricks. My sister thinks I'm kind of going too gung-ho. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to teach her so many things at once. But she's a smart dog. And I expect the world from her. She wants to learn. Whenever I didn't take her out for a walk, she actually went up to her leash and her harness and picked it up. She wanted to go for a, walk, for a walk. And I was like, I'm sorry, baby, we can't go today. And she started crying. She was so upset. She wanted me to teach her how to walk properly on the leash. And I wasn't at all prepared on that day to do so. Um, it takes hours and hours of teaching have a dog learn something so it'll take a very long time I'm sure maybe a year before she can walk on a leash but as long as she's ready within a year um, maybe she can go to a dog park I really want to take her there to a dog park off leash you know but before I can even do that I have to make her obey me rather I have to get her to obey me <laughs> I don't want to make her do anything I just want to have her listen to me because if she doesn't listen to me she can get herself into some trouble and that's something I do not want. If I take her to a dog park I want her to be able to stay if I tell her to stay. I want her to be able to get off of somebody if if she's doing something bad and I want her to listen to it. It's going to be hard because we're still working on our communication. Dogs need time to learn a human so it, It'll take a bit for us both to kind of figure each other out. Um, but she seems very intent to learn. So I'm intent to teach her. <laughs> um, it'll just take a while is all. Our home was not built in a day. And a dog doesn't learn a trick overnight. So it'll take a while. And I'm totally invested into it. We're going to train every single day. A little bit each day. Not long. Just small little snippets and I'm gonna try and get her to eat food she's actually eaten quite a bit now which I'm very proud of her so 